Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to book an Uber cab for two, three, or four, or even eight persons. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. Now in this case, how do we actually do this? Well, first thing you need to do here is you need to open up Uber. And from here, choose the option that says trip at the center of your screen. Now from here, we need to enter our location or our current location right now, as well as where we want to actually go. So for example, I want to be picked up in this specific location here. Let's go ahead and click on done. And from here, maybe I want to go to Brisbane Airport. Now from here, let's go and choose the specific drop, drop off point. In this case, I'm going to choose this one. And from here, as you can see, we now have this option. Now, depending on the type of ride that you'll get be getting here, uh, you'll be able to leverage the following options. Like for UberX, they actually allow you to book up to or basically have up to four people for this ride. So meaning four people can actually utilize this service. Now, for a bigger or for a lot more room or for more people, like for example, for six people, you need to choose Uber. Excel, which can uh, actually contains six people. They also have Comport here, which includes four people, Uber Green as well. And yeah, so in this case, depending on your current region, you'll be able to uh, leverage their uh, following services. Now, it would depend on your current location and your country. So sometimes they do not offer eight seats, but the maximum on your current uh, current right now on Uber X that is widely known is going to be the six seater seat. Now, in this case, you'll know you'll know that it's actually six seater seat if you see the six or six. I, uh, the person icon that has the six on it. Now in this case, uh, you could go ahead and start booking it if you want to. Now additionally, this is going to be uh, something that you could also leverage. Let's go and go back in here. So in this case, you have the from and the destination. Now if you want to add a stop point, you could go and click on the plus button next to the location. As you can see, we can now add a stop. Now in this case, maybe I want to uh, basically uh, change a few things here. So maybe I want to, after going to uh, Brisbane Airport, I want to go to this specific location here. Let's just say I'm going to Town Square here. Uh, let's just go back in here, maximize this one. And I want to say Town Square Brisbane. And from here, we want to choose this one. And we now have another stop. So meaning it will now go to Brisbane Air Force first and will now go to the following location. You could also add another stop if you want to. So if you're like, for example, six people are riding the car, you could just add any stops. Like for example, they, they need to be dropped up at this point. And then this at this point, you can go and just add those stops. But in this case, once you're done, just click on done here. And again, the uh, price will increase because you'll be adding stops. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.